Hey, can you we have the Luis do the opener? Luis! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Alright, welcome back guys. And you can do it, you got it! Welcome back to another Welcome back guys to another good good video and today we are leaving Arizona and moving What is it? North? <laughs> Where are we? Wait, wait, wait! North. East. Oh, yeah. No, no, we're going east. We're going, we're going east. east back home to Dallas, but we're not flying. We're traveling in SUVs and trucks. So yeah. we'll be stopping at different courses and filming for a couple days and dipping. Yeah! yeah. 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 This is all me this week, fellas. Yep, you guys heard it. We're on our way back to Dallas. We're going to be stopping at four separate golf courses, eight episodes, nine holes apiece for a total of four rounds of golf. Every man for themselves, stroke play, handicapped. And yes, Steve starting at 40 under par. I just messed up again. Because then we get somewhere, we film, get to watch the Super Bowl, road trip and sports, you can't beat it. You guys have the biggest cars. That one can easily we fit. We have a four. truck that we can fit clubs in. Oh my like gosh. Wait, we can, can easily that. fit all luggage and 11 people. Oh all right, well, we need to film everything. Seven episodes and have the camera rolling at all times. Let's actually go do this. Let's just do a road trip. Let's just not even think about it. Let's just. <laughs> let's just think about it. I'm send that so fast. Let's actually. Dude, that is such a try and plan something what, about what, it. What is there to plan? We just gotta. We gotta find a course road. right now. I, I could probably get us on. I think it's like El Paso Country Club. El Paso. How far? How far El, away is that? Four hours, forty-five minutes to El Paso. Minutes to El Paso. So which what way is like the way to, to Tijuana? Tijuana? <laughs> None of us have our passports. Fingers crossed that this hotel has nine rooms available. If you answer a couple more questions, it will be the fence. You have nine rooms for tonight, so you are all set. Nine rooms, baby. Let's get out of here. Yeah. We literally have no plans for this. The unplannedness of it though is like making it the most beautiful thing ever. I feel like it's gonna be a lot more fun. Apparently El Paso Country Club's nice and he said he could get us on, but he really has no clue if he could get us on. I'm in the middle of the road. We're about to... We have to take my car back and try and re-rent another car because for some stupid ass reason, they said I wasn't allowed to take this car to a location outside of Phoenix area. We're changing the return location for the car to Dallas Fort Worth. Great. We're trying to change uh, the reservation, but there's literally one person working in our customer services. Yeah, we're gonna get a new car. We'll be just fine, big fellas. Big fellas. I just need to go inside up here. You gonna come with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm eating good tonight. I feel kind of bad, because the other guys are struggling I know, to figure out a car. Well, like, elegant music playing. <laughs> and I have a Cinnabon. The Hertz, they wouldn't rent a one-way car in DFW. They just said, we won't do it. Sour Patch Kids, peach, Red Bull, and obviously water in Subway. Tried Avis, walked over to Avis. I'm talking to the guy and he's like, we're both new here behind the counter. We don't know how to do walk-ups. So you should, you should go talk to Budget. I'm gonna try Dollar real quick. There's no line, it's worth a shot. All they can do is electric, which would be Tesla's and obviously that's not enough room. All right, vlog, we are back here enjoying our meal. Wow. <laughs> We've tried just about everywhere. We need to rent a one-way to Dallas. Yeah, she's got it. Hey! I'm going hey. to What's up? We saw you walking by with the hat. You want to bother you? How you doing, my man? They want to bother you. I was like, ain't got to, man. How long have we been in here? I think like an hour or something. Hey, yeah, man, support. Yeah, Thanks for the hat. Can I take a picture with you guys? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Go to your team. Where's Daniel? Um, I think you left. Three, two, one. Awesome. Thank you, man. You guys have a good night. We'll see you, you too. We got it, baby. Yeah! Still excited somehow, Colin. Somehow, some way. Yeah. Plenty of truck spaces. We're gonna do three into the front. <laughs> oh, great, Scott. Steve, what is this? And and why... and pepper. Steve, why do you have this? Don't worry about Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I. This is gonna be some of the best content we make. A specific shot. Mm -hmm. Bluetooth only. This is cinematic. <laughs> My Chevrolet. I also use the only battery I have. That's what we had to do. What did you do? We just had to book a round trip and accept whatever penalty we get in Dallas. That was the only option. <laughs> did you guys get Taco Bell or Subway? Subway. Do you know the game? What are the odds? Yes, of course I do. Brad, are you in on it? No. Oh, what are the odds? What, 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 Come on, you have to get in. Uh, what are we playing for? Whoa. What are the odds you sit down with them and eat a meal? Call One in three. Scared. 
No, you won't. No, you're not. One in three. You will not. Let's do all of us oh, one wait. in 20. So wait, 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 it's if you say the same number, then yeah. All so right. I'm gonna say three, two, one, we're gonna say a number. Oh gosh. I'm between two numbers. I got it. Ready? Three, two, one, 17. Oh, 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 oh my God. Dude, I thought it say seven. You stopped yourself. No. No, he said seven. seven. Seven's my favorite number, so. Yo, hold it up. Wait, you, you can do it with Matt now. Three, two, one, 13. 13. What did you say? 14. I just said 13. Dude, yo, 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 that's what way too close. Three, two, one, one. 20. Oh my gosh, because I was thinking about saying one or 20. Oh. That's insane. Are we waking up in the morning and just kind of seeing what we can make happen? Brad's already working on something here. It actually kind of does make sense that Brad like knows all people in very country areas. I know all, I know all places far and wide and yonder. And then we end it with a good, good major in TPC Sawgrass. Oh my God. Stop number one. We just planned all of the good, good content for the next year. Which is insane, I have to say to you guys, this year is gonna be the best year Good Good has ever made any content. I, listen, I will literally mark my words. I, I'm telling you guys right now, you guys are gonna get the best Good Good content you've ever gotten, and I place anything on that. Oh <laughs> Howdy, partners. This town ain't big enough. This town ain't too enough for the big of us. We partially left Arizona because of the weather. And we're driving through a snowstorm right now. And we're only an hour away from where we're gonna be filming tomorrow. I just realized all of our stuff's getting rained on right now. Including my $4,000 brand new PC. I feel like it's probably okay, but I'm just gonna pull it in here to be safe. Yeah. Oh. Let them cook. The backpacks got moved in, so we should be fine. It didn't, they didn't feel too soaking wet. Um, we have 42 minutes left until our destination. Colin just pulled that up on our, his phone. That was where we were planning to play tomorrow. So you're telling me, we got in the car to drive five hours, and it's not even open tomorrow. How are we doing? El Paso. Pretty nice. Literally never been here. Except, well, I've been here once, actually. I just found Butterfield Trail Golf Club on maps, and it looks kind of sick. And we got 10.40, 10.50, which is in like an hour and a half. We got time to eat, get Red Bull and caffeine. Caffeine. <laughs> we, we get food and caffeine and <laughs> move on our way. How do you feel about the trip so far? Oh, confused, brother. Howdy, partner. If that doesn't work, we are going to Yeah, well, you know, it's El Paso, anything's possible. How we doing? We are out here at McDonald's. We are, uh, we're off to the races. Great way, hey, great way to start the morning, guys. Some hot acidic diarrhea. I was about to say we're at Starbucks, but we're actually at McDonald's. It's Sunday, Chick fil A's closed. I got two sausage McGriddles with the medium vanilla coffee. What'd you order, Brad? A burrito and a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. I got a sausage McMuffin with a hash brown and a coffee. I got, I got two sausage and cheese biscuits with two hash browns. Am I going to eat it all? Absolutely not. Order on You should just both order yours here. I'm going to run up the bill on Sharps. I have my wallet, so you'll be paying. <laughs> all right, one, two, Three. You feel good? I feel great! Woo! Well, y'all, it's currently 44 degrees out. The sun is trying to peek through the clouds. I'm commentating today. Your boy's the MC. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna get these boys all hyped up. Steve is about to drive his own car. This is the first, boys. That's crazy. We need his own car cam. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we just figured out what the handicapping is gonna be for the event. This is a 72-hole Good Good Major road trip event, so we're just gonna do the overall comprehensive score. Garrett is starting out at 10 under par. Obviously, all handicaps are being played off. Brad and Luke starting at even par. Steve is starting at 40 under par. Matt starting at 28 under par. AJ starting at 20 under par. So essentially, the way it works is Garrett is getting two and a half strokes per day. Steve's getting 10 strokes per day. Matt's getting seven strokes per day. And AJ is getting five shots per day. Welcome to the first ever Good Good Road Trip Major. Let's get right into it. So we're now here at Butterfield International Airport Golf Club in El Paso, Texas. All right, y'all, you guys heard the way this tournament is gonna be working. You heard how the handicaps are set up. This is hole one out here at Butterfield Trail. It is a 433 yard par four dead into the wind on a 45 degree chilly day out here in El Paso, Texas. We got some great golf coming y'all's way. I think we'll just start with based on who's in the lead right now. You wanna start us off, Steve? <laughs> First seat, I'm just gonna try to go down the middle, see what happens. Hey, that'll do. Good ball. 
Damn. That's so good. Dang. It's a marathon today, boys. I've never played a 72 hole tournament. Next on the tee, we have Matt Scharf starting at 28 under par. Thank you guys. We're play together, so. Okay. Yeah. I'll come back here. No. It's me, Garen Steve. All right, what am I starting, Bobby? 10 under? All right, y'all. Correction. Next on the tee, we have Garrett Clark starting at 10 under par. Play well out there. Beauty. Mm, breakfast balls needed. Fun fact, we didn't warm up. We offered everyone a breakfast ball. That's what Brad was talking about, yes. but we haven't needed a breakfast ball, so we're good. I might, because this shot's probably not going to be very good. What? No. What happened there? Brad, that's good drives, boys. Thank you. Good fun. Have luck. Appreciate it. Have luck. Good fun. Oh, hey. <laughs> didn't see you there. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the good, good road trip tournament. This is episode one, round one, and I wanted to take you away from the video for just a split second. GoodGolf.com is there. We got polos, Q-zips, we got just about everything you need, golf balls. Check it out. GoodGolf.com. Let's get back to the video. I was actually thinking it's funny how for me, since I'm starting 10 under, if I just go out there and like, Shoot a 69 or something. It's just like I just 13 yeah. under par after day one. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, Steve, that ain't 240. You're even with me, brother. Damn, look at pissed. this fella. Hey, wait, let's go say hi. Wait, to wait, I'm not messing. No, I'm not messing with that thing. Oh, hey, well, no. <laughs> Thing's a freaking falcon or something. Rock. All right, I got a, I got 135 to the hole. I don't know slope though. That's the problem. 142 is slow. Yeah, that come in. Uh, yeah, yeah. All day, Steve. Let's go. Cold. Man, there's a reason he's 40 under, huh? <laughs> Steve's got to be 41 under after the whole one. That's crazy. Uh, I have a pitching wedge. I have 122 though, and this is. Definitely way too much club. I just don't think I can get a golf wedge there into the wind. Just gonna hit this one nice and easy. That hurt. That's gotta be. Ground. That'd be ground to repair, I think, but I'm not in it, so that's all right. 94 yardages. I got 56 degree. They're pretty full. Start off with the bird. See, it's gonna be literally gonna be 41 under after this one. It's wild. Yeah, that's insane. Let this man cook. I might be two under. Oh! Wow, Brad. Oh! Thank you. Oh, can you imagine just starting off with an E. I love this grass. I actually do. So this is zoysia. You can nip it off zoysia. All right, I gotta look at Birdie. This is, this is gonna be, it's gonna be a run, a, a, a long day. Come on. Oh. Oh. This man's 41 oh. under. <laughs> Remains at 40 under. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm actually gonna read my pots today. Oh. oh! I thought that was missing the whole way, Colin. I did not think that was straightening out, I'll tell you that. Good catch hole. I mean, that was a ring around the rosy. What'd you see? Wiggle like a snake, big fella. Bad read. Bad read. Next on the tee box, playing in the Good Good West Texas shootout, we have Matthew Sharp starting off at 28 under par, currently in second place. We're gonna see how he finishes up out here, folks. Wow. Playing the cold, brother, come on. What a start, man. I've never been this under par. This is crazy. Also in second place, so that's huge for me. Um, I just gotta wait for this fairway to clear. I feel like this is gonna be kind of tough, like yeah, the course, because I I mean, I don't know, El, pa El Paso golf, but the biggest thing I'm it's not hard. In is if the greens are like firm because it's cold or if they're still receptive. Like, are they going to be hidden and bouncing, or are they going to be receptive? That's what I'm interested to find out. All right, I don't think I can reach Brad, so I'm just going to go ahead and go. Yeah, go. All right. Oh, 
All right, next on the tee in the good, good West Texas shootout, starting at 20 under par, AJ Poot Joles. Short. Let's <laughs> see if we can hit a fairway hole number one. Good. Left side of the fairway. Nice. That should be fine. Should be fine there. I don't need a breakfast ball. Let's go. All right, next on the tee. Finishing the last tee time at the Good Good West Texas Shootout, starting at even par. Luke won. Currently in last place. Currently in last that's place. Probably, that's probably where I'll finish, honestly. Wait, where's Brad starting? Even. Even. They're both evens. Uh, nice. There we go. Three good balls. Where'd my tee go? Back here. No. I was trying to shank that, honestly. Every ball, my, every ball I start with on the first hole is a toe ball. It's cold, man. It's a cold one out there. It's still kind of early, so hopefully it kind of warms up for us and we can catch a piece of that good sun and good weather, but great start so far on the first. Let's just hope it doesn't fall apart. It's chilly. 140 plan, 144, up into the wind. Guys, this is my first ever good, good major. I'm really excited. Hopefully we can do something special. We're starting at 20 under, so we have a lot of strokes, but we're hopefully we can just keep making birdies and that onto it. Up the hill, 144. One for one on fairways today. That's phenomenal. We got 134 playing 138. I haven't swung very many clubs, so I'm gonna hit a smooth little nine iron up. It's obviously into the wind too. Try and put one on the green. Hey, no, I am not I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. I can get up and down for par. Pars are my friend out here. Alright, I got 106 into the wind, obviously cold. I sound like Cartman. Cartman? Hmm? No, Kenny. Kenny, it's Kenny. People can be roasting me. Oh my freaking, that concrete right there? Wow, that was firm. Holy wind. How we doing? Hey yo! Happy with that one. Oh. See? That's why I needed that reek, because it didn't break, break very much. Okay, I got it downhill right to left. I think it's mostly the wind pushing it right to left. Sure. Nice punk quant. <laughs> Luke with the first birdie of the good, good West the Texas shootout, taking him to one under par. He's still 39 behind Steve. But <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen with 71 more holes of golf. Sharp here to clean up his par. Thanks, good par to start. AJ also for par, we will play this hole at one under. That's pretty solid for us. All right, y'all, group two also had a very good start. Actually, a better start. Sharf with the par remaining at 28 under par. Luke with a birdie to get to one under par, and AJ with a nice par to remain at 20 under. I gotta be honest, all six of those guys played the first hole in these conditions, one under par, combined total. All pars, one birdie, good stuff for the boys. Like I said, though, hole two is a long par five, right back into the win. It's technically going to get warmer throughout the day, but it's going to get windier. Most likely. That's, that's, that's an issue. That's a problem. So it's going to stay the same all day. We just got to think, you know, it's, it's four hours of being cold. Yep. But then we're going to get, you know, go watch Super Bowl, oh. eat some food and warmth. <laughs> exactly. Right. Oh, baby! Woo! It is blowing. I need to wait until it calms down. That's called a that's called a West Texas gut. <laughs> that's cool. All right, I got a driver. Come on, baby. Perfect. Well, not that's better. gonna hit them, Brad. Yeah. Yeah. Like My rolls though, because their fairways are like concrete. Little low bleeders today are definitely gonna be the play. Alright, here we go.
had a tear coming out of my eyeball. Heads up! <laughs> now we gotta go for it. That's all right. I promise you. <laughs> Brad, Brad, Bradley, Bradley, where's your uniform? Bradley, look where my phone's facing. Look, on my screen. Just look at my screen. Look where my phone's facing. Look directly to our left. The mountain range right there. That mountain range back there is Mexico. What are you trying to say, Brad? I'm trying to say that's Mexico right there. He thinks that's Mexico right there, and oh, it's not. Chicken shoe. 240 into the breeze. I mean, that's either a nice little sawed off three wood, or low key hit a little sting piece three iron. Oh! Roll it up there, Brad. That's the idea I have. <laughs> Unless I break my fingers off with it. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, not that low. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did the same thing. Get lucky. Oh, I'm no. debating on hitting a three wood now. Just, I wasn't trying to hit that low. Oh, go. What? Hit what did it hit? I don't know, I thought that was past everything. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> All right, Colin, I'm in the provisional. Hoping I find that one, but just in case. That was perfect. <laughs> hey, you can find that one. <laughs> you got that one in the bag. This is kind of like a, I know it's a desert, so sand gets pushed around a lot, and this is kind of like a sand fairway right now. Or I'm in the rough, but sandy. <laughs> I'll make something on this hole. Whew. Well, we now know what hit my ball hit hard. This is like a waste area, not a bunker, right? You can ground yeah, it you can definitely ground it. Sit. Sit. Ooh! Damn. I think it might have overspun. That was sick, though. I got the pretty much the same yardage. Uh, 56 degree this time. I'm gonna kind of swing a little harder because that wind's gonna be pushing against it. Let's see if we can't make a par still. It's a good shot. All right, we gotta look at par. <laughs> bro, bro, that is a scorpion den, probably. Chrome Tour X? Brad, yeah. Chrome Tour X. It was literally in the hole in the sand. In that hole? Yeah. <laughs> Unplayable, but you can take a drop here at least. Yeah, that's a burrowing animal hole, so I get a, you get a free oh, drop out of that ish, actually. Actual? Yeah, burrowing animal hole, you get a uh, free drop. That's obviously a burrowing animal. Well, drop a dew. That's unbelievable. What a bad shot. That was like an Easter egg hunt. That'd be a good spot for an Easter egg. Easter egg. Shout out for that scorpion for digging that hole. <laughs> scorpion? Yeah. Get scorpion big, hole. Be a big old scorpion. All right, I got pitching wedge. Gonna have to open up a little bit to get over these bushes. Be a real stinger if I just hit those. Just drop straight down back in the hole, but let's see what happens. All we got through the Brad, bush. Brad, that's disgusting. That's crazy. It got through the bush. Honestly, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I could have gone a million different ways. That would have been much, much worse. So I'll take that. All right, y'all, making our way up to green of hole two with group one. Brad has a birdie chip. They ended up finding his ball in that position it was in. He hit a phenomenal shot to get it to where it is, just spun back off the green. Garrett has a very good look at birdie. Steve has a good look at par after a great shot out that waste bunker. Brad's got a lot of ground to make up 71 holes to make up 40 shots. He's got to start going low, y'all. If I made birdie somehow this hole... This would be the weirdest birdie in <laughs> history. Actually, probably. It'd be a Brad Dalkey birdie. Wow, okay, great shot. Thank you. All right, well, I got this for my for my par after, I don't know, I topped like 15 balls, but we still got a par look. All right, little bogey. <sighs> Taking it seriously, Colin. Taking it as if I was playing a tournament. 72 holes is so much golf. Pulled it off the face. Nice what a par, Brad. Thank you. Good par, G. That ripped right off the face. Okay, par five. Cold, long, into the wind, junk left. Don't hit it left. Okay. 
did you want out here? Just a ball in the fairway and get yourself something to look at. Sit, sit a little bit. 3.30 over there, should be fine. Yep, okay. perfect. Off to a pretty solid start. All right, end of the wind, gonna try to keep it low. Simple golf today. Be over there on the right side. 237 here, Michael. I'm not in a great spot here. I hit honestly a pretty decent drive, but unfortunately, you can see it all slopes down here, and now I'm behind, kind of behind a mound. Won't be able to see the pin. So I might have to try to not lay up necessarily, but just kind of aim way up where they're standing, and just hopefully it quick, turns a little bit for me. Okay, I hit that pretty solid. Don't. We won't know until we get there. Where's it going? Center of the fairway, just over there on the right. Yep, you're chilling. There's no way it's focused right now. Oh yeah, it is. All right, I got 205, cold into the wind. I feel like I've said cold into the wind. I guess you guys can realize that by now. Probably go with the floor iron. Comes up short, comes up short. Soft, 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 soft. Uh. I don't know how I'm playing like this because my body feels like an ice cube. It's 120 into the screen, a little into the wind. Gonna play it a little bit further. I got pitching wedge. Just going for the center here. Carry that, please. Push it out a little bit right. We're on the green though. Hopefully we can two putt and save par. Gotta get up and down for par. I heard the check, but didn't get any. That's tough. Simmer, simmer down. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. Oh, what? AJ! Come on, baby! Four birdies! Let's go! What a guy! Let's go! Oh, Holy cow! God. What the heck? <laughs> Double break he said, simmer down. I had no idea what that putt was doing. I was reading it and I just said, hit it towards the hole, see where it goes, and boom, wow. All right, I think my move's a little bit right, seeing AJ's, his little, little snaky little double breaker KD action. What a Great save. Fun. It has to turn. Nice right. save. Great hole there. Three under par on that hole. That's insane. Good job, guys. All right, uh, number three is like 470 yard par four. Little dog leg right. I'm going right over the edge of this tree right in front of us. Coldness makes me aggressive. That's not perfect. Yeah, that's not perfect. I didn't see the other bunker over there. I didn't want to go in that left gunch. I was kind of worried about that. Cool. I'm just playing the low knuckles today. That's going to roll. 600 yards. Can that get to that stuff up there? Probably went right of it. I saw it bounce right a little bit. Should be perfect. Uh, sure. That was a good one. Do you feel like actually pounding the ball? Oh my god, like... that is smushed. Where did all this distance come from, big fella? I don't even know at this point. I've hit my stride. I've turned 25 and I'm just striding at this point. Look at how hard pan this is. You can't even take a divot. Look. Shot. Thank you. Actually, took a divot. It's kind of shocking. Kick. Good little ground fade. Watch it. 
Little ground fade. Yeah, let him cook. Oh, Steve, oh. Damn, Steve, dude. you gotta be back to 40 other bars. Um, 103 yards from here in the bunker, not terrible. It's got a little 56 degree. I think it looks like there's, there's a big backstop, isn't there? Yeah, I don't know how much it'll be useful, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll hit it and hope. Damn, Brad. Oh my goodness. Is this going in? <laughs> it was very useful, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn right. It's giving. Do you guys want score updates or you just want to be ignorant to what the group behind you is doing? Because I have one that's very interesting. Quan's three under. Yeah. Quan has gone birdie eagle to start. AJ's one under par, 21 under par total. Matt is 28 under par still. And Quan is three under par total. The greens are just low key fast. Nice putt, Steve. Hey, Mike. Nice. Thank you. So you're one under. One under. One under. I'm 11 under. Steve is 39 under. 476, fairly easy. We just go. Honestly, just, yeah, we got a lot of room over there, it looks like. Stay left of that. I don't know if you can reach it. Yeah, no, that's that stuff's probably only about 240 out there. I think it was low enough and left enough to where the wind shouldn't move it too far to the right into the brush, but solid swing. Nice. Alright. Come on, baby, be good. Two good balls, hopefully out there. Ugh. Dang. What a group. What a group of drive. The gaggle of drive. Ah. All right, 156. Great, great little number here. 56 playing up to 160. Got a little bit of wind behind us. That's a full nine iron. Just kind of trust one of these here, Michael. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even thinking. It's all. It's all turned off up there. If you know what I'm saying. It. 110 in left to this green, 56 degree in hand, a little up the hill downwind should cancel out, so just a nice and smooth 56. Trying to find somewhere in the center. That's it. I think it's kind of on a ridge. All right. Well, that sucks, Max. I airmailed the green by a mile. Um, car path relief is minimal. Minimal, but let it do its thing, you know. Why don't you come on back here? Come on back here. Come on back. You hit my cart. Yes, appreciate it. And that was unfortunate. I didn't really have a backswing. I thought I could kind of do something special. I don't even know who I think I am, but let's get it up there and up and down for bogey. It's a great hole for me. <laughs> You're moving forward. Make that double. All right, Michael, up the hill. This is another double breaker. This is just one where, again, you just got to try to hit it with the right speed and hit it confidently, and hopefully it's close to the hole. Oh, what the bump was that? <laughs> what was that? All right, got a little downhill from a birdie. Should be slightly left to right. Oh. First bar. Nice butt. Nice putt, AJ. I tried to keep my foot on the ground as long as I could. Didn't want to early step it. Ah! All right, triple double. Triple burger, they got those, don't they? All right, that's a poop dump there. Good news is I started it 28 under. So, I mean, I'm down to 25, which is fine. Luckily, I still got a lot of golf out here to play, so I can still try and make up for it and just at least try to get back to 
you know, even, maybe a couple over or something. We're still chilling, guys. Come on. All right, y'all, making our way up to hole four. This is currently where everyone stands. Garrett made a birdie there to get to 11 under par. Steve made a par to stay at 39 under par. Brad with a birdie to get to one under par. Matt, was that a seven? Triple. Triple, I'm sorry, brother. To drop him down to 25 under par. Luke, still three under par through three at three under par. AJ with another par there remains at 21 under par. So again, everything is kind of working out the way we thought it would. Everyone's coming closer together around that even par number. Or maybe they meet somewhere in the middle. It's too early to pick who I think is gonna win, but from the first three holes, Quan and his new aim point putty. Strong start, young man. No joke of a golf hole right here. 222. I got three iron. What do you have, Big Bell? I got my three iron as well. Damn, that was pure. Come on, Steve Ferrari, really far right. Oh, it did. Oh, it's green. What? What? Brother, that ball <laughs> came out of nowhere. Bounce through. Was that, was, that, was that three iron? Was that three iron? Welcome back. I'm gonna draw one from the card over. <coughs> yeah, I'm hitting a bunker shot here. Is there any grass? No, okay, that's fine. I got an eight iron. I'm gonna start at Luis with a fade. It's 120, but I don't even wanna swing hard today. I swing as hard as I can. <laughs> that was a, this is, a, this is, I just played two par threes. I just played two par threes pretty much. All right, this is kind of hard pan slash bunker slash. I could putt it. Every time I get an opportunity, boys, I got to do it. Clip it, chat. Thanks. It's been high. I thought I was going to shoot more left off that lip, but it's been high. Should I putt it? No. So if I do this exact shot with that exact thing, it'll land exactly where I want it to. So let's do that. Nice shot, Steve. That's insane. That was so sick. He just did what he said he was going to do when he said he was going to do it. He's got to make that for bogey because I can't. This is, this is just... Yeah. You got very lucky it came down off that hill onto the green. Let's see if we can take advantage of it, but maybe knocking this thing in. Alright, take that two butt. Alright, I think this is the snap from Magoo. I think it's gonna move, boys. I think it is. I'm not mad with my lag out of the bunker. Let's see if we can go three iron putter putter from the bunker for a par. Hold it. Just a hair. Hold it a hair. It's all right. All right, this is for the bogey. I pretty much played two par threes. I did the 231 and then the 20, whatever it is. So we're going to figure this out. All right, I got a three iron. What's it, 220 into the wind off the right? All right, Mike, we got four. I'm just gonna, this club probably won't get there, so I'm gonna try to air on the side of right, just be a little bit short. Oh, that was hit so hard. Get past all that. Keep going, go! It's over that bunker, we might be all right. If it's inside the bunker, that's gonna be a tough shot. Yeah, this is just a tough shot. Regardless, honestly, it's just into the wind. You gotta club up quite a ways. Frick. We're in the bunker. We got a tough shot ahead of us here. Got to try to make a par and get a little nice comeback after that trip. Wow, what a Great shot. shot, Luke. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. Ah. 
Very poor effort on my end. I thought it was gonna be a lot faster than that. Man, this grass just, I gotta, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna try to putt this to the top of the hill. Hopefully it comes back just a little bit. Try and get out here with bogey. way to do it you know I might as well just put it to right there it's definitely the play though it kind of came out it came out nice All right, decent bogue. Oh, what a double. Whoa, whoa. Nice. Hey, you know what, let's keep this up. Ah, that's a great day out here for me. Hey, it's cold, I gotta figure it out. That's all it is, that's what it comes down to. Uh, yeah. All right, hole number five, 365 yards downwind. There's this bunker that's like in line with those trees, and it's like 290 carry. And if we carry that, we should, should be able to get on the green, because it's going to be running out. I can hardly talk when my mouth is so cold. It's going to be running out, so we're going for the green. Lewis is up there just in case something crazy happens. I bomb over the bunker. I'm now. Dude, this could be a repeat of Diamante. Oh. Yep, there it is. Kick left and you're good. Somehow, do something. We got lucky three times. I didn't see the lane in the bunker, so. All right, driver, same idea, hopefully. I hate that so well, too. That's the unfortunate part. Call's weird. All right, well, let's see if we can't get to the screen. You think I can go over the bunker? Uh, just go a little left of it, to sure. be safe. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll go right at left over it. Dude, the man is slotted. That's gonna be pen high. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that was bomb running, Steve. Oh my. All right, 62 yards. I am in the bunker, unfortunately. Wow, I just want to snap a club, especially because this is like the easiest tee shot you could have. Brad did get on the green. He was right at the bunker, kicked left. Oh my, I didn't He's see on the green. For like 10 feet. <laughs> Brother, he's got an eagle putt. We were talking Brad. Brad's got luck on his side today. That's the third time he's gotten lucky. Ah, you love to see it. Nice shot. All right, just under the hole. Let's make birdie. Birdie the hard way. Get it to 100 par again. Not bad. All right, somehow this ball got on the green. I don't know if it rolled through the bunker or around it somehow. I don't know, we got up here and it's like 25 feet. So obviously I will take that. Um, downhill, pretty hard at the end, breaking right. Try to make this get to 300. Today, Luis. I was just doing a little bit of practice. Anything? No, should be much. Anything? No, no, no. Just dead pool. Dead pool. Easy par. Easiest par four will play all Holy day. Holy crap! Pars for us. Easy par. I'm gonna try not to do that, but I think it's going to tap it left. So. Nice. Yeah. Nice birdie. The 38 under par, Brad is still one under. I'm still 10 under, on a 600 yard par five. All right, Michael, we got a par four, 365. Honestly, it's kind of weird saying this, but I think it's drivable, because of how firm the fairways are. Problem is, direct line, there's a bunker. Yeah, I still got a chance. I'm not sure if that's carryable, so. I'm gonna try to slide one around. I don't have to cry myself to sleep. Oh my kick! That might be on the crate. Should be good. Kind of lost it. Let's go a little left of the bunker. A little left, yellow. Yeah, You're off. Should be fine though. Should be just fine over there on the left side. 
Booyah. That'll do it. Should be nice in the fairway. Well, I got super unlucky here and my ball ended up being in a bush and that's a thorn bush. So I am gonna have to take it unplayable. That's super unfortunate. Thank you. Oh, Sharp, I like this. Great shot, Sharp. Oh, that's that bumpy golf in me. How you doing? Thank you. <laughs> Dude, you brought that bunker more into play than I thought. Yeah. You got aggressive with it. Nice Good. shot. It may look like I'm on the green, but I am actually a word that I cannot say right now. Because the higher I go, the more it breaks. And if I go higher, because it breaks more, it breaks even more. You're not overreacting. It's in the hole. Ah! One! <laughs> <laughs> drip in there. Drip, get there, get drip. There. I don't know how I left that short. Good one to make! Nice, nice. Nice. Good Seven, seven, three, he goes trip quad birdie, baby. We back. I'll just tap it in. Good par. All right, y'all, so there was some movement that hole. Matt and Sharf both making a birdie there. Sharf, Matt Sharf both made a birdie. Come on, Matt and Steve both making birdies there. Steve moving to 38 under par, Matt moving to 22 under par, and then we have AJ dropping a shot there to 19 under par. Garrett at minus 10 still, Quan at minus three, and Brad still at minus one. You boys are impressed me with this golf, honestly. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, when, when has I ever done that before? I mean, driver putter putter? Since when? Since now. Driver in hand, mate. Uh, 600 yard, par five. Wow! <laughs> no, I don't mind it. Yeah, Max, that's. No, it's fine, it's fine. Hear that. I think it bounced right. over or something. I see it, that's so good. Oh my goodness. You don't need that anymore because I'm going to use it. Okay. <laughs> it's going to run so far. Yeah, yeet, yeah. Damn. Yo. <laughs> No, that cleared by like 50. Yeah, bro. Let's record that. This might, this might be my longest drive. I didn't hit it like the best, but the wind behind me, what holds it? Six. It's 600 yards on the dot, so uh, it says 273 left. Oh, there's the flag. Let me reshoot this. I might not have hit it as far as I thought. Oh, I hit it further. 260 on the dot. So what's that? 340. Three wooded bay that starting left of Louise. Steve, that is amazing. Don't pick a terrible day to come out here. Thanks, brother. <laughs> that sun makes it so hard to see. Yeah, I can't see anything. Watch this. I'm literally going to carry this like 160 yards with a three iron. Hopefully just going to roll it off there. 246. How did you come out that low? I didn't even see it. I just heard it hit like right after you hit the ball. Still probably going to be close to the green. That's what's crazy. I, I think that's pure too. That's so sad. 213 up to 223 adjusted um almost 400 yard drive there colin that's neat i got six iron we'll try a little high cut ski back into that pan no idea stayed left yeah it's safe play it looks like right is no boy now so just trying to make sure i stayed left of anything let's see if it's on the green or not 44 yards, I gotta hit a little bit of a flopper here. Ooh. 
That was so sick. That was clean. Did you see how I slid under that thing with an open face? A little. I'm on the green. I'm a long ways away. Not a very easy putt. It's like 50, 60 feet. That's well, actually at least two putt this time. Front birdie, please. Just made it back here to the leadoff group and I heard Steve just stuck it from 260. <laughs> Come on, Steve, get it back to 40 under. Come on. Damn. Oh! Good birdie, Steve. Boy. Hey, back to back. Oh my god. Let's go. There we what go. What a hole. 600 yard par five, three birdies, two under, uh, 11 under, 39 under. It's a 600 yard par five, Michael. So they've got some big par fives out here. It's a long course at 7,300 yards. 275 to reach that bu uh, that bunker on the left. I'm just gonna try and whack one out there on the right and give myself a good chance. Michael, let's get that comeback going. You know what I'm saying? Let's show them something they ain't seen before. Yes, I saw it bounce. More left. That's not left enough. More passion. Oh, I hope. oh you might have zipped through it. Oh, I hope I'm screwed. All right, Mikey, we got a couple bad breaks the last few holes, but uh, it all restarts now. We clear the mine, we flush the toilet, and we restart. Uh, get in the bunker. No, I get left of it. Oh, it's moving. Moving a little bit. We'll see. No idea. I'm working on trying to hit more cuts. I don't like the draws right now, but unfortunately, I'm still hitting draws. I, I think I have like 320 to 310 to the flag. Obviously, fairways are very firm here. I might go drive off the deck. This might be very stupid. I, I literally might hit this ball like 40 yards right into this bush. A little left. I don't know what's over there. Are you filming me? Yeah, I can't see the ball. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were zooming in. <laughs> we got 260 to the pin, no chance of, of getting the ball on the green. So I'm gonna hit this hybrid in hopes of just kind of getting one on the left side and give myself a good chance at it. Or we'll go on the right side with a tight draw and somehow end up in play. How we doing? Things could go from bad to ugly real fast. It's gonna roll a while. Where is it? Oh, over there on the left. Not a problem. Not a problem. We're good. We're good. Sit right there. I can breathe. We're all right. Two putt bogey. That'll be three bogeys in a row. Not how I want it to go, but you know, sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. All right. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. At least I'm not in this stuff. I'm a little short of it. Um, I got 85 yards. I don't think going for the flag is smart here. There's like a down slope right before the flag. I'm just gonna go left of it, two putt, get out of here. I don't know what to do here. I don't know how to hit out of these tight lies, so. Ah, that's the best effort I could do, I guess. That's it. Oh. I mean, I'm just hoping, Max, that I putted up to this hill right here again. Definitely should have took the bunker into, into effect there. I cannot be in the bunkers out here because I don't know how to hit out of a tight line bunker. So we'll try and eliminate uh, some mistakes here with my putter, hopefully. Okay, I feel like that was a mistake avoided there. I don't think I would have done better with my wedge. So we can make that one for par. Okay, well, that was not as short as I thought. Uh, left or right though. I just saw AJ's putt. 
not drippy. What did I just make there? Is that a birdie? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Pushed. Oh! Ah. This is a testy little three, four footer for Paul, or for bogey, excuse me. This is to save bogey. That's part AJ. Thank you. Hey, Colin! Yeah? I think I'm gonna come help in the next COVID video. I'm gonna help Phil. All right. Dude, I'm so, I'm so excited, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I am so sorry. I was, I, what am I doing? But anyway, hopefully you guys are super excited for this year because I am, we're on the road to two million subscribers and that could be you. I really love you guys. We got a lot of phenomenal, exciting content planned. Then I will not be filming it, clearly. So, goodgoodgolf.com guys, hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> All right, y'all, making our way up to hole seven. There was a bunch of movement that happened there on that par five, hole six. Not a single par was made out of all six golfers. Garrett made a birdie to move to 11 under par. Steve made a birdie to move to 39 under par. Brad made a birdie to move to two under par. Sharp with a bogey there to drop back to 21 under par. Luke with a birdie. Round of the day so far to move to four under par. And AJ with a bogey there to move back to 18 under par. Another par three here, 186 yards. Much more gettable than the last part three we had. Excited to see what the boys do here. Let's get to it. That's gonna roll Neverland. What'd you hit? Seven iron? Let me roll up. I'll get up and down. Do you nine brad or eight? I got eight. That. Eight iron here. Draw one in there. Roll. Keep drawing. Oh. oh. I also have eight iron calling. Boy, that needs to sit the hell Looking down. Right. I hope that didn't bounce into the crap back there. <laughs> I'm guessing mine landed like pin high, probably left, but hopped huge. Back here, way, way behind the green. I'm lucky I didn't go in like the sticks right here in the gunch. I have a clear shot. But the tree is kind of in the way, so I'm on the right of that, and then hopefully I have like a 10, 15 footer if I hit it solid. Oh, that could be. Dude, it, like, did you see how it hit that branch and kept right? <laughs> that, oh, damn, brother! I didn't think I was gonna hit that shot. Holy hell! 23 yards. I got like seven steps on. Just gotta nip it perfectly. Oh, horrible. Nipper. He's got some hands on him. Very nice. Nice shot. Thanks. I'm gonna play this left edge and just hopefully it trickles in. I did exactly what I did say and did it, you know? All right, just outside left. Trying to make it a little crazy up and down here. Wow. <laughs> Let him cook. I don't know how I did that, but I will take that par and run out of here. The thing about today, Colin, with those bunkers, they're basically like hard pan because there's not much, this time of year, there's not much sand in the bunker. So I just gotta, now I know if I'm ever in a bunker, play it like hard pan. See if we can just escape with a bogey. Nice. I can't complain. I mean, all things considered, I don't, don't mind a bogey at all. All right, we got 175. Flags frontish. I got an eight. I, if this is back part of the green, it would be fine. I got eight iron as well. Nice smooth one out there. And somehow make birdie on this one would be insane. Yeah, good shot. Thank you. All right, make it three eight irons here. This green looks very inviting, so let's see if we can get one back here. Just try to make par. Nice and easy. Actually, we all started. 
little deep left. I'm just getting quick. I don't know. Changing the strategy up a little bit. We're going to go with the little Texas wedge. It's only appropriate here in the uh, Western shootout. Not really trying to think about too much here. Just play, play simple golf and see ball, hit ball. Good putt, AJ. Good putt. All right, thank you. Long putt. I mean, if this goes in, then someone needs to drug test me or ban the left hand low thing. Yes, nice Sharp. Putt, sharp. Come on, baby. Oh man, that's massive. My scorecard looks so freaking weird right now. <laughs> <laughs> Triple quad, birdie bogey. I mean, wow. Remember last time I said I'm just gonna tap it in? Yeah. Actually, they probably don't even know that I said I'm just gonna tap it in because Colin cuts out everything I said. Remember? Remember last time I said that? Remember? <laughs> Not for confidence sake. Oh my gosh. Gain some back on the field. <laughs> yeah, I did. I just gained two back. I'm back in it. My scorecard looks like a dump. All right, y'all. Leaderboard update as we move on to the 453 yard par four eighth out here at Butterfield Trail. We have Steve at 38 under par. Sharp with a massive birdie there to move to 22 under par. AJ with the bogey to drop back to 17 under par. Garrett made a bogey to drop back to 10 under par. Luke with a bogey to drop back to three under par. And Brad with a par to stay at two under par. This hole, trust me, once, once you see it, it looks like a beast of a hole. Tight fairway, 452 yards into a crosswind off the right. Let's see what the boys can do here. All right, number eight, 453 yard, par four. Dead straight, looks pretty, like it gets really narrow up there, and it's like 350 where it gets narrow, which this sounds crazy, but a full driver probably will get to that narrow spot. So I'm gonna take a little bit off of it, choke down, hit a little bunt, you know what I'm saying? That one with a draw like that, it's probably going all over, there, all over that jump. Uh, uh. Alright, let's just keep doing what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I kicked hard left. I kicked real hard left, but I'll find it. Alright, so one of our cameras has been busted ever since we went to St. Andrews. Like the rain screwed it up. And it's been just the autofocus doesn't work and then the screen turned off and blah blah blah. We're gonna prank the boys. Cause Luis, Luis is kind of known for getting angry, right? Um, so we're gonna prank the boys. Luis is gonna pretend to get angry and smash the camera, but nobody knows that the camera is already broken. Cause we brought it, yeah. Uh, so it's coming. I don't know when, but it's coming. All right, I got my line. I think I got 160 down when. Nice full view wedge should get there, I think. That or nine? I'm gonna go view wedge here. Too far left. Heads What you got? I don't know. Where is it, Louis? All right, I kind of got everything I need right now. 166, got a seven iron. Gonna try to cut it off, fade it off, Louis. Oh, that's nothing like a fade off. I'm gonna need to take my clothes off. I just am restricted right now. I don't have that swing. All right, well, I was in these prickly things, but I have to take a drop. Unplayable. So this is my third shot. 152 yards. Gonna open up the nine iron. Hit on the green. Hopefully, make bogey at worst. That could be good, Brad. We'll ride at the pin, but I think it should be. On the green, I think should be putting. We'll see. 62 yards. That range finder is sick. Go ahead and zoom into it because I made a little something. I'll sell that on eBay for free. I'll just put it on there, see what happens. 
That's really good. Damn it. Alright, we got a long part, but I thought that was good. So did Colin, obviously. That's on me. So, here we go. Brother, that one got... It looked good in the air. It did. I also hit some, uh... Some debris. Oh, I didn't learn much from Steve's line there. No, you weren't going to. This trying to two-putt. Good speed. He goes in, he goes in. This is what I, I really need this one to fall. <laughs> All right. Well, on to the next. I'm unfortunately now nine under par. Brad is one under par. Steve, 30. 36 under par. 36 under par. On to the next. Gosh, dude, you know what? We're all good. Everything's, everything's fine. I feel confident with a little fairway poke driver, so just keep it on that right side if anything, and if I have my draw, I should be all right. Yep, thank goodness. Might be the most clutch shot I've had today, I'll be honest. All right, firm fairways, fairway kind of pitches in. I'm gonna go hybrid, put a little stinger. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. 350 on that line. Should be perfect. Oh. I, I don't think it's a bunker. I think we're gonna be out of a fairway bunker, but we might be hitting out some rocks. All right, I got 143. Kinda can see the flag. There's just, what, what? There's a big old bush in the middle of the fairway. We are on the dance floor. Can you hear the music? <laughs> Just kind of hoping and praying here. Kind of hoping and praying I don't hit these bushes too. Where'd it go? Way short right. Okay, you know what? After hitting the tree, I'm, I'm honestly not upset with that. Happy, happy, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, yes. All right, I got away with something there, hitting that tree and still being in play here. So we got a little pitch shot in there. Let's try and get up and down. I just can't hit out of the stuff. All right, Mikey, good little birdie look here. Pretty flat, relatively flat. A little right to left. This would be big here. This would be really big. Not an inch of movement. Wow, man. Oh, that's a tough hole. I thought driver would be the play. Got to make some back here. What's up? Just talk to me now. <laughs> I 
watched, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're kidding. As soon as he threw the camera, I knew he was kidding. But, uh, I thought it was completely dead ass serious <laughs> from the beginning until he threw the camera, and then I knew it was, it was a joke. What the? I, dude, <laughs> this thing got obliterated, bro. <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's funny? It's like right before when I looked at it, the SD card was in it. So I gave it to Colin before I threw it. Dude. So this is the one that what was in Florida. He dropped it, and I guess it like hit the little mont. Well, it was jacked up from St. Andrews. That it got water soaked. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> and then I sent it, and then now it's completely gone. At least we think it's that one. All right, here we go. Part four, 400 yards. The end of the breeze off the left. I got a driver in hand here. Wow! Oh, damn. Yeah. Right B A F. Yeah. That hit something. Oh. I got it. It looks like it opens up. That'll work. It should be fun. Dude, Luis. Okay, I actually want to put a little backstory behind this. We have had a couple group meetings the last couple days about like good good weeks and content and like strategy because we felt like we kind of got away from our roots and what kind of like built good good so we had all just sat down and like planned a lot of fun stuff for this year and like literally our best content that we've planned and Luis is sitting there saying he's like man this week's just not the same which like you know, teach their own, and then he's like, at the end of it, saying he's gonna leave good good. I'm literally telling, I'm thinking to myself, we just planned content for four hours in a car ride. He got me. I thought he was literally was saying like, this is like actually his last week. I was like, something's going on. I'll find out about it later. And then all of a sudden, I wasn't even watching. I just hear a freaking camera. Hit the ball. I hear a freaking camera hit the wall. I'm like, what the hell? Dude, when he I knew something was up though, and nobody was like, like people were like giggling. I'm like. Oh, nothing's when he when he threw the camera I knew something was up. I was like, ah, there's no way I got a 130 Adjusted to the pin. I got an 8 iron in hand. I'm gonna try to make good contact Which I haven't done yet today Nice strike Feet to the right of it. I hit that one pretty well with an eight iron. It should cover. <laughs> when I used to play a drill, I'd hit my eight iron about 167, 170. Now I play it about 130. All right. Well, my drive is going left over here. We can't find it. Took a little drop in the area where we think it was. Um, can't really shoot the flag. Steve is like 130, so I'm probably like 115. I want to go pitch my jump up and up the face. And uh, you gotta get the driver back dialed in. I'm tired of taking drops. That's how it goes so hard. Oh, land. It's gonna be short. All right, I have 86 yards. 60 degree in hand. Should just land this one nice and soft, like a pancake on the hole. Looks like we got a little putt of birdie. Come on now. We need to make that, get it back to even par for the day. Um, I need to get something down for my bogey. I'm making a mess out of these last couple holes. Pretty easy shot though. Try a little spin on it. Get a tap in range. Oh, oh my God. I thought I made it. All right, that should be a bogey. Let's get back to even. Yeah, I kind of got confused with where the pin's at, and I'm glad I did because it worked out. But these these floated little uh, fades are landing soft and actually doing good. I'm not used to it. Why is he telling me this? I just realized I've done this before. It's a handful of times. I just realized I walked behind the hole, looked at my ball, and was sidetracked. Walked all the way back around to my ball and I didn't even read my putt. I just realized I didn't even read it from the other side of the hole. Wow. Very, wow. Yes. Par. 36 under. Yeah. 
about 36 under to Brad, who is even, and I'm back to 10 under. All right, y'all, making our way up to hole nine, the final hole of this video and the front nine out here at Butterfield Trail. There's been some good golf, there's been some other kinds of golf in this uh, eight holes we've had so far. I got faith in this group. Give me three birdies, why don't you boys? I'm all out. I'm all out of birdies. I'm gonna make bogeys only from here on out. Yep. That'll do it. Boot, toot, and scoot, and root, and doot, and... Oh. Find it, please. Just sit. Sit soft. Sit soft. That was a good battery. <laughs> it barely carried the bunker. I'm trying to find a fairway fairway swing right now and it's not working. So here we go. Okay, we got really lucky. I mean, this is like, this is, I see the sun's coming out. Lucky breaks are gonna start to happen. We're over here on the right side. I have a sort of decent line at the green. We got pitching wedge in hand, 128. Oh, I got under it again. Oh, I just hope it's not in another bush. Gosh, this was a terrible fairway finder, dude. I just literally barely carried this. All right, we're getting dialed in though, you know. Do our best to get out of here, honestly, with a par. If we somehow get away with birdie, great, but let's try and get out of here with a par. That's the goal. Really? Where'd that go, Mikey? I don't know. All right, Michael, I got 84 yards. Honestly, it looks like there's a backstop and uh, to be fair, I'm not gonna intentionally use it, but if I happen to bomb it, it might come back. Okay. All right, you guys, 55 yards. Um, let's see if we can finish this front nine on a high note. Just trying to carry it back there into the wind. Junked it, but. Did I get a crazy amount of spin on that? I don't know, probably about 20, 30 feet. This is a long tester, not even a tester. This is just a long putt in general for par. Look at how fast that is. I barely touched that too, I feel like. Dang. You gotta be freaking kidding me. All right, y'all, to wrap up part one of the Good Good West Texas shootout, we had Luke Kwan coming in with a three under par 33. We then had Garrett and Brad coming in with even pars 36s. Steve and uh, AJ both shot 40 and Sharf coming in with a 46 there on the front nine. I believe in you though. There's a lot of golf left to be played, but the way it stands with handicaps is Steve is in the lead at 36 under par. Sharf is in second at 18 under par. AJ in third at 16 under par. Garrett in fourth at 10 under par. Luke with that great 33 at three under par and Brad at even par. So like we guessed, everything's gonna be coming closer and closer together as the holes go on, as the rounds go on. But stay tuned for part two of round one of the Good Good West Texas Shootout. Gonna bear the cold out here in West Texas. These guys are playing some good golf. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. How are you? Mike Zuckerberg here. Mark. Mike. <laughs> Mike! Who the hell was that?